Hello everyone! This is Doc Lila again. So, sa mga momshies, momshies to be and momshie hopefuls, this episode is for you. Today, let's talk about the most common cause of delayed menstruation, of course, in sexually active females, and that is pregnancy. So, during this pandemic, I've been getting a lot of online inquiries about when to do the pregnancy test. Uh, Siyempre, dahil hindi sila makalabas, most women who have delayed menstruation wouldn't know uh, kung kailan dapat o hindi dapat gawin ang pregnancy test. Kaya lang, dahil dito, napipilitan tuloy silang mag for themselves when to do it. Kaso lang, yung iba, only preg test ang peg. Naku, I get pictures of pregnancy test kits na Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, hanggang sampu pa. Paulit-ulit nilang ginagawa yung pregnancy test kasi hindi sila sigurado sa nakikita nilang resulta. Minsan naman, inip na inip na sila. Kaya ang ginagawa nila, mayat maya, ilang beses sa isang araw, ginagawa nila yung pregnancy test. Parang uminom lang ng paracetamol pag may lagnat. Every four hours. Naku mga mamshi, mahal din naman ang pregnancy test, around 90 to 140 pesos each. Ngayon, kung ilang ulit mo yan bibilhen at gagamitin, pag pinagsama-sama mo yung cost ng ginamit mo sa pregnancy test, makakabili ka na ng essentials for your home, for your family, and makakabili ka rin ng load for your cellular data para mapanood mo ako sa aking YouTube channel. So, some women will have the usual symptoms, no? They will have, pag nag-delay yung menstruation nila, sasabayan na rin ito ng breast tenderness or minsan merong parang abdominal cramps or bloatedness, merong frequency of urination, minsan yung iba nagkakaroon na ng nausea and vomiting, yung mga, mga madaling mapagod, yung mga biglang nagiging maselan sa panlasa at sa pangamoy. So, yung mga to, madali naman silang makakapag-decide to do a pregnancy test kasi meron na silang parang hinala dahil meron silang symptoms. However, in some women, walang wala sila talagang nararamdaman at all. Isang araw na lang, magigising ni sila, maiisip nila na, ah, hindi pala ako nagkaroon ng mens for this month. Meron namang iba na nagtra-try mag-conceive. So, when they are trying to conceive, Siyempre, inip na inip sila for the much-awaited positive pregnancy test. So, isang araw pa lang o kakakontak pa lang, magtetest na sila. And, of course, meron din yung mga iba na hindi pa handang magbuntis ulit. Then, nagkaroon lang contact during their fertile period. So, silip din ang silip at gawa na gawa ng pregnancy test kasi they are anxious kung ano yung magiging outcome nung contact na yun. Okay, so ang tanong ngayon, when do we do the pregnancy test? Well, first, dapat nating intindihin, eh ano nga ba yung mini-measure pag nagpe-pregnancy test? Uh, when we do a pregnancy test, what we are trying to measure is the human chorionic gonadotropin or shortcut HCG. This is a hormone which uh, is produced primarily during pregnancy and the hormone which uh, helps support the fertilized egg. So, ito yung nagbibigay ng tulong para maging successful ang pregnancy ng isang babae sa early stages ng pagbubuntis na sa time na hindi pa buo yung placenta or inunan. So, para natin ma maintindihan kailan ba napoproduce itong HCG, kailangan nating balikan yung basics. Paano ba nabubuo ang isang baby? So, review natin. Meron tayong isang fertile woman. So, yung fertile woman na yon mag-ovulate o magre-release ng egg. So, yung, yung egg niya makakatch nung fallopian tube. Yung sperm naman, through sexual contact, will go through the uterus into the fallopian tube. Magmimit ngayon yung egg at sperm doon sa ampula, which is the widest portion of the fallopian tube. When they meet, ang tawag doon, pag doon sa, sa union na yon magpo-form sila ng zygote. And then, ang zygote na to will go through a series of cell divisions. Ang purpose ng cell divisions na yon eventually is to form the embryo which will eventually become your baby. So ngayon, yung embryo na to hindi naman siya pwedeng magtagal dun sa fallopian tube. It has to go back to the uterus dahil doon siya mag implant 
No? So, in 6 to 9 days after fertilization, um, babalik siya doon sa loob ng uterine cavity. Tapos, didikit na siya doon sa uterus, no? sa lining ng uterus. mag implant na siya doon. No? You call that implantation. Pag nag-implant siya, nagiging signal na yon sa katawan ng isang babae para sabihin na siya ay nasa baby mode na pregnancy mode. So, when pregnancy mode na, di syempre, a series of uh, of changes in the body will come. And kasama na dun sa series of changes na to, yung pag-produce ng human chorionic gonadotrophin or HCG. No? So, uh, eventually, this HCG will increase in amount sa blood. No? So, every 2 to 3 days, uh, magdo-double yung amount ng HCG, no? So, parang may exponential increase siya. Such that, after 2 to 4 days, ganyan, from implantation, pwede nang ma-detect yung levels ng uh, HCG sa dugo, no? So, yun yung una kasi mas sensitive mag-pregnancy test using serum or blood, then yung urine. And then, later na lang, a little later, madidetect na rin ito sa ihe. Although, meron na rin mga urine pregnancy tests which are more specific and more sensitive. So, minsan, kaya na rin nilang madetect maski one or two days delayed. But these are usually the medical grade tests na nag- nakikita natin sa mga professional laboratories and uh, hospitals. So, para mas maging klaro, let's make a timeline of pregnancy, no? Para mas maging klaro dun sa sinabi ko kanina na from fertilization to implantation. So, day one is your first day of menstruation. So, if you're in a 28 to 29 day cycle, siguro more or less day 15, lalabas na yung egg. So, pag lumabas yung egg, tapos nagkataon, nandun, nagkaroon ng contact, nandun na yung sperm, magkikita na sila. So, day 15 or 16, mafa-fertilize na yung egg. So, sabi ko nga kanina, in 6 to uh, 9 days, yung egg na fertilize ay babalik doon sa loob ng uh, uterus no para mag-implant. So, that's about day 21 to 25. no So, pagdating ng day 21 to 25 ng cycle mo, pabalik na o bumalik na dun sa loob ng matres yung fertilized egg and implantation will happen. So, more or less, makikita mo if you're in a 28-day cycle, even before ka madelay, nagkaroon na ng implantation, nagsisimula ng umakyat yung serum HCG. So, ang tanong ngayon, kailan ba dapat gumawa o gumamit ng pregnancy test? If you're using the better kind and most more sensitive kind of monoclonal pregnancy test using urine, pa pwede din na uh, maski one or two days delayed ka pa lang, uh, maaring mag-positive na yung pregnancy test. Pero yung mga home pregnancy test, minsan hindi ganun kataas ang sensitivity or specificity. So, minsan, if you're so excited, kaka-delay pa lang ng one day, magpa-pregnancy test tayo. Pag, uh, pagkatapos magawa yung pregnancy test, makikita mo walang two lines na lalabas. Anong gagawin mo ngayon? It doesn't mean that you're not pregnant. It may be a false negative kasi baka masyado kang maagang nag-measure. Baka hindi ganun ka-sensitive yung ginamit mong pregnancy test. So, what do you have to do? Wag mo na ulitin sa hapon. Wag mo na ulit ulitin ng uh, several times in one day. Wag mo na rin mo nang ulitin the next day. Ang gawin mo, mag-antay ka ng one week. No, at least one week. Then, tsaka mo ulitin yung pregnancy test. Kasi that's to give enough time for the HCG to go up. Doon, madidetect na nung usual uh, pregnancy test kits natin. Halimbawa naman, sobra kang excited. Pagkatapos, delay ka ng one day, nag-pregnancy test kami, lumabas nga na guhit. Pero yung guhit na yun, uh, yung isang dark sa control, and then may isang very, very light na halos na aaninag mo lang dun sa test. Pagka ganun, what I told you earlier na yung ACG nagdo-double in 2 to 3 days, then you can, if, if you cannot wait for a week, you can choose to do your uh, pregnancy test in 3 days time. No? Ulitin mo after 3 days, dapat yung light na line medyo nag-darken na siya. No? Ngayon, kung laging inuulit mo yung pregnancy test, light ng light yung line, I would usually tell my patients, mag serum uh, pregnancy test na lang kayo, no? or blood pregnancy test, or yung quantitative. 
Kasi pag gaganyan, huwag na kayong mag-aksaya ng paulit-ulit dun sa pregnancy test na ginamit nyo. Uh, mas maganda, use something more sensitive na lang. So all this time, we've been talking about regular cycles na yung 28 to 29 days na ideal. E pa paano kung irregular yung cycle mo? Uh, ang sigurong pwede mong gawing point of reference ay kung kailan kayo huli nag-contact. No? So, kung hindi ka ganun ka sure kung kailan ka huli nagkaroon ng menstruation or talagang lumalaktaw-laktaw yung regla mo, then, tandaan mo na lang kailan kayo huli nag-contact and then, at least two weeks from the last contact, dun ka mag-pregnancy test para mas ma-pick up mo kung talagang may nabuo during that act. Ngayon, isa pang recommendation ay yung pregnancy test, better, especially if you want to detect kung buntis ka earlier, um, better done sa umaga, yung first morning urine, kasi mas concentrated pa with all the chemicals or all the substances, yung urine sa ganung oras, no yung unang labas ng ihe in the morning. Ngayon, we should also remember that Iba-iba rin ang cycle ng isang babae. No? Minsan, our menstruation no, may have a longer cycle length. In which case, pwedeng mas late yung ovulation. So, maaring dun sa akala natin na oras na lumalabas yung egg, hindi pa lumabas. Maaring sa akala natin na nagbubu- nakakabuo na tayo, hindi pa nakakabuo. So, ang importante is tiyakin muna before natin isipin na ay hindi pala ako buntis tapos baka mamaya mag take na lang kung anong medicines or whatever mas maganda na siguraduhin muna no? i-take into consideration that the length of the cycle may vary so the timing of ovulation may also vary before uh, trying to do anything o magkonsulta o yung iba humihingi na dyan ng pamparegla nag-online consult na sila huwag mo nang gawin yun mas maganda na exhaust mo na all means para matiyak na ikaw ay totoong hindi nga buntis no? or kung totoong buntis ka nga Uh, some of the patients would have a pas- pag nag-positive pregnancy test na sila, they would ask kailan ako mag-check up. It's a good time na pag nag-positive ka na, mag-check up ka na agad para mabigyan ka na rin ng mga necessary supplements. But then, sometimes, pag nag-check up ka, tapos pina-ultrasound ka, this is one more thing that can happen. Positive yung pregnancy test mo, walang nakita sa ultrasound. Ang reason na naman doon is that sometimes mag-transvaginal ultrasound ka ng too early. Kasi ang heartbeat ng baby, lalabas lang yan from around 6 uh, weeks AOG. So, hindi minsan pag masyado kang maagang tumingin sa ultrasound, wala kang makikita kung di lang. No, so, I would like to stress this point kasi marami rin ako na-encounter na ganito. Uh, nagpa-check up ta- o kaya on their own, no? lalo nga yung pandemic. Pag merong malapit na ultrasound clinic, magpapa-ultrasound na lang sila kasi positive yung pregnancy test nila. Eh. And then, ang mangyayari, sasabihin, walang laman. So, akala nila bugok yung itlog, lalo na yung mga trying to conceive, ma didishearten na sila about what happened, uh, ang advice ko lang din dito is that, like the pregnancy test, you take a second look. Hindi yung parang hahatulan mo na agad sa unang beses pa lang na wala na yung pregnancy. Kasi do not disqualify the fact that nakakuha ka nga ng positive pregnancy test. So at the same time, if halimbawa yun sa so ultrasound mo, yung hindi niya kinokorroborate yung nakita sa pregnancy test, then give it a little time. No, usually, you can uh, you can expect na may magde-develop na baby sa loob within two weeks. So even if let's say may spotting ka, meron kang abdominal pain, meron kang symptoms, what you have to do is magkonsulta, humingi ng supplementation. Some OBGYNs will already give pampakapit, no? especially if you're really trying to conceive o meron ka ng previous history of miscarriages. Eat well, rest well, and then after two weeks, magko-coordinate na yung findings mo doon sa ultrasound at doon sa iyong pregnancy test. So, another question relating to this topic, can you have false positive pregnancy test? Kasi marami na tayong narinig of false negatives, eh, no? masyado lang palang maaga na nag-check. Eh, how about yung false positive? Pwede ba yon? There are also cases wherein talagang positive ng positive and then ending wala talagang makikita sa ultrasound. So, the answer doon is yes, we can have a false positive pregnancy test. 
there is such a thing as one, isang cause nito yung chemical pregnancy. Ano yung chemical pregnancy? Nagkaroon ng fertilization, nagkaroon ng implantation, pero hindi na suportahan yung pregnancy agad-agad na nakuna ng isang babae. So, pwedeng mangyari yun. Yung mga kunan na hindi na na-document, hindi na na namalayan. And then, posible din na merong defective pregnancy test kit, lalo na yung mga nabibili lang natin commercially. And of course, minsan pag binasa mo lang on your own, marami siyang smudges o kaya minsan yung evaporation line nung sa ihi, akala mo, nare-read mo siya as positive. Nare-read mo siya as the line of the pregnancy test na positive. So, ang ending, akala mo buntis ka, pero actually hindi. There are medications which can also cause false positive pregnancy test. No? etong mga conditions na to, although very rare talaga, can, can lead to a false positive result. So, in the end, kailangan nyo pa din talaga ng assistance of your OBGYN or let's say your local midwife or your local health personnel to assist you whenever nagkakaroon kayo ng delayed cycles. Kunwari, nagkaroon na kayo na nag-pregnancy test na kayo, nag-positive na siya eventually. Tapos, lahat ng mga bagay-bagay pag pinagsama-sama nyo, ultrasound, pregnancy test, symptoms, merong hindi nagkakatugma-tugma, hindi nyo po ito pwedeng solohin, no You really have to consult healthcare professional. No? And uh, yung pagkonsulta na to, actually, ngayong mga panahon na to, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap kasi meron naman din mga online consultation. Just try to see kung meron kayong mga nakita, ginawa nyo naman sa tama, hindi naman kayo nagpaulit-ulit ng pregnancy test every 4 hours or every day, talagang lahat yan na, na coordinate nyo at meron talagang uh, hindi kayo ma-explain sa sarili nyo, don't keep it to yourself kasi marami pa rin mga ibang conditions which might be veiled. Akala nyo okay na kayo. Yung, ah, hindi pala ako buntis. Yung pala, may pagbubuntis sa labas ng matres. But of course, this is another topic and another session. Ano? So, basta what I'm trying to say is, tinuturo natin dito, pero not to this is just to guide you, no? but not to make you confident na alam nyo na lahat ng gagawin. Kasi in the end, kailangan nyo pa rin ng tulong ng isang professional. Okay, so hanggang dito na lang muna po yung ating discussion. We heard your request, so in the next few days or weeks, meron na tayong mga nakaline up, not necessarily in order yung mga topics na most requested. So, it's about abnormal vaginal discharge and infections, PCOS, placenta previa, fertile period, choice of contraceptives, breach presentation in pregnancies, and management of previous cesarean section. Okay, so if nagustuhan nyo yung discussion ngayon, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope to see you again next time. Bye!